everyone, and welcome yourselves back to the channel. I'm back on with the grind with YouTube. Been away for a couple of days, but now we're back with over the midpoint of the Mighty Ducks Game Changers review, episode six. Hope you're enjoying the season. And I've got to say, I I don't say I don't take it back about what I said about Amelia and stuff. You know, it's going to be worse. It's worse, but yeah, it's still fun. It's family oriented. It's brilliant. So spoilers ahead. Hit the subscribe button if you're a new viewer, and like the video if you enjoy the content. And of course, do let me know down below in the comments if you enjoy this episode, if you enjoy the season, if you're enjoying it as a collective, if you enjoy the nostalgia, let me know down below. But it'll... but now, let's dive into the video. So, <laughs> episode 6 of the Mighty Ducks Game Changers was the beginning of the tournament, which will decide by the end of the games who will face off against Canada as Team America will face Team Canada from coach from coach's camp. And um I, I think it's brilliant. But you know they've sort of set up like episode seven maybe episode seven and eight have to be the final two episodes of the matches with episode nine be the match against the final two teams and episode 10 will be the game against Canada <clears throat> that's the logic but I love this episode because it was the build up you know everyone was deflated they lost three games by the end of the episode they did a bit of team bonding trying to get their negativity out to the world Jace was being his usual Jace self but by the end of it you know after hearing what AJ uh, Evan and coach did to use their weak arms to beat the Ducks it got to Jace. I think Jace now is going to be practicing his forearm to make sure he sh can get his shots off. The team will swap positions to make sure they can cater for the passing and shooting. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be amazing to see because they've brought the two new characters to life, AJ's brother and the girl. I love Nick's character. Coop's funny. Sam with his discated thing. That was disgusting. The girl's doing a brilliant job. I think Alex was brilliant in this episode. She's truly found herself you know it takes a while for some characters she was very annoying in season one she's had annoying moments and she'll have more annoyance going forward because just ah, the nature of the actor actress i think <laughs> but um i love how she's got a good relationship with jace evan feels like he's very much been pushed to the side now because he was on board with what the coach was doing and embarrassing the ducks but very very excited to see what goes forward because they have to win every single game now that's left uh, to make it to the semi-finals, and now they're all confident that they want to get to the final and win the entire thing. It, you know, if you watched last season, you know, the Ducks and the Don't Bothers were the two big teams that obviously were eventually going to face off in the final. Don't Bothers were the weak ones, then they became the underdogs, and now the Ducks are the underdogs, and they're going to become the team who faces Dominate in the final match before they go on to Team Canada. And obviously, it'll be Jace, where I think he will get the winner to knock out Coach Cole. And I think that'll be such an important moment. So, if he sucks shooting <coughs> all the way through, I think it'd be so good if, you know, because obviously, the premise is, the biggest game of his life, he missed. And the biggest game of his life now, once he gets to that point, will be against Dominate to, to beat his dad and prove to Alex he has potential. You know, he can play for fun, but also making sure his dad sees when not under extreme circumstances and forced to do things, he will succeed. Evan, <clears throat> I don't know what Evan's plan is, but I do feel like Jace will become the new leader of the Ducks by the end of the season, and maybe he will play for him in season three. I think, I hope, and pray that happens. I hope the two of them, the two new characters, are involved in a more future manner going forward. I just love the vibe of the group. It was literally like Logan, the other girl who's in the Chucky series now. They had such a good chemistry with the team. They always know how to bring good actors in to fill that void. Um, Evan, I don't really enjoy in the series. And Jace is a really good character. And he, you know, his relationship with Sophie and his don't care attitude, but now willing to do things so the Ducks will thrive is brilliant. The flow of the show is brilliant. I think it's one of my, it's the most enjoyable show I've seen this, this year. No way near the best, but definitely one of the most enjoyable. So let me know down below in the comments what you thought about this episode. Obviously, we're heading into the final couple of episodes. Um, the big matches are coming up. The Ducks have to win matches to make sure they get to the final. And I'm pretty sure they'll face Team Dominate in Episode 9 with 
with Jays leading him to the Canada match, which I think would be absolutely incredible to see. And the big thing is, who did Alex call in the episode? She called someone of the Ducks, the Anaheim Ducks. And yes, even though they're a real team in real life, and obviously they've incorporated into the show, and obviously Bombay gave Alex the number, I 100% am certain it'll be an ex-Duck. And I'm praying that Josh is, was available during the shooting for this, because he said he would, would have definitely returned in Season 1 with Banks and all the others and faltered, but he wasn't available due to, I think, shooting Dr. Death, I think it was. So I'm hoping Josh, who plays Charlie, if you don't know, I hope he is the one who was called up. It, it could just be an Anaheim Ducks player who's in real life, but I think the way she sold it, the way she delivered it, it was like they were setting up a huge Ducks player, so... One can hope, one can dream that we see Charlie return because he is another heart and soul of the show, like Emilio. So here's the hoping, here's the praying, here's the dreaming, and let's see what the direction the show takes going forward. Subscribe and like. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.